Okay, we're going to go ahead and jump in here and just wait on everybody to come on in. And we're going to go ahead and ping everyone. Do, 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 do. We'll just make sure that everyone gets in here. Uh -oh.
Damn. Hello, hello. Boo. <laughs> hey, Brett. Hang on one second. Boo. We're waiting on a couple of people to jump in. Since it's the first one, two people are going to be behind. Okay, cool. How's your week? It's been going good. It's good, man. Challenging. There he is. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm just sitting on the couch that i am too much of the desk today you said too much of the death desk oh desk i was like dang <laughs> i thought you maybe went to a funeral no <laughs> i've got that in my life right now but it's not too close yeah I had a friend whose son died this week 
So yeah. it was unexpected. He died of a blood infection. Jeez. Yeah, he was 37. So it was not, uh, it's been, that's been a challenge, but I'm not so close in their life anymore. Sorry. So yeah. You doing well? Good. Uh, living in South Huntsville, well, up in the mountain of where you're at. Because you're over in Hampton Cove now, aren't you? Uh, no, okay. not yet. Okay. Uh, my girlfriend lives over there. And my daughter lives in Owens Crossroads. Um, so I'm I'm a lily flag. Oh, that's right. I didn't know if you were still up there or not. Yeah. Got another guy jumping in. Hang on. Oh, no. There we go. Mr. Derek, there he is. Brad, if you don't have anything as far as like custom suits and bow ties, this is your guy. <laughs> Stick with it. I used to do that. I used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me unmute him really quick. There we go, guys. But um, let's just go ahead and jump on into it so we can go ahead and save some time because we're going to go until 7 o'clock. But uh, just kind of go over what we're going to cover tonight. And, you know, this is the first one that I have done ever because I've built everything. I mean, man, it's, it's crazy because I've built everything without doing any marketing for myself. And now it's just for referrals. And now things are getting to the point. I'm like, oh, God. All right. So now I got to start building out these training courses and these other sides of things and to be able to shift, to be able to accommodate with demand. And so and that's where. Uh, even with Facebook and everything else that's going on, all the updates, they had a update just to the policies just yesterday, and they're about to gut so many different targeting data points on the back end of the ads manager, where if people aren't doing organic right now, they are going to just tank and waste money in 2020. It's just, that was unintentional rhyming, but it's it's about to be <laughs> wild, wild west. Uh, I've got a wood desk that... Uh, not a wood desk, but it's a uh, picnic table that doubles into a park bench. <laughs> are, are you saying that if you're doing ads on Facebook, paid ads, that if you don't, if you're not generating organic traffic through relationship, that the business will tank out because of the relational aspect? Well, you've got a lot of the short-term wins that you'll have. So if you're not pushing them to an email opt-in or building some type of list, you're literally just leaving money on the table. And hang on, hang on. feedback on my end. Hang on. Hang on. New earbuds. Got them over at Electronic Express. Probably the worst idea ever in my life. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't use those things much. Hang on, we got an echo back on. But one of the uh, one of the biggest things for any kind of marketing, if you don't have uh, have any organic, then it's going to. Hang on one second. Let me try this. Let me try this. Let's go ahead and. Okay, let's try and do that just to kind of minimize the mute for right now. If you guys end up glitching on a while, we're unmuting, so what, uh, sometimes it'll it'll kind of slow things down. So it's a slow system. Where, blah, blah. So, uh, so anyways, it's giving me some notifications over here. So we'll just try and um, just try to adjust with it. But what I want to do is share with you guys some of this, um, some of the things that I've done behind the scenes, just for even um, even uh, incubating, and then why I'm doing these different types of events like tonight, and I'll be doing them every two weeks how they're going to also snowball into stuff in the future. So I want you guys to be able to walk away from tonight with different ideas. But first, we're going to go over the mechanics of a lot of it so you can see the different things that are in play. But then we can start letting the creative juices start flowing. And about the last 20 minutes or so, we're going to start idea and spitballing. And that way, you guys can walk away knowing, OK, this is what you have to do to start, tra like start tracking and start getting organic traffic into it. And then wow. By using your profile, using your page, and then different reasons behind those different elements, so that way you can start to actually put on different types of um, different types of get-togethers, whether it's in person or whether we're on different corners of Huntsville right now, literally at our <laughs> wherever. We're at. And so you can do this online, both in and in person. So it works pretty well. And there's different tools that I use that like Calendly, like what you guys went to. That all of your email and everything popped over to Slack, so that way I can capture a lot of that stuff and know exactly who's coming into it. 
and it's scheduled over to Zoom. So this way you guys had all the invite and the reminders built in. So all I had to do was show up, you know? And so that's kind of, it's pretty neat to be able just to connect a couple of things. You don't need this massive funnel. There are different things that you can put together that people appreciate with where you're at, but also too, that you can start getting sales in and getting traction in and have people show up just like right here. And I cut it off at 10 because just like a small group guys, you know how sometimes you have too many in a small group. Oh Lord, there's never a good conversation. <laughs> Everyone is just all surface level. So I'm actually glad that we have a smaller group tonight. So this way we can start to have more in-depth dialogue because we're going to spitball on some different stuff. Derek, you've got different ideas in the back of your head. I know from when we were talking, but also throughout with Brad, the stuff, I mean, gosh, Brad, what, how long have we known each other? This sounds like five. I'm just kidding. We're like, <laughs> but now uh, Brad, um, Derek, to kind of give you some background, I'll meet you guys, I'll meet you guys. Um, yeah. But to give you some background, when I worked for I worked with a landscaping company. That's when I first met Brad. And so it's just it's crazy to see how things have grown, and it's yeah, just awesome. Nine years ago. Oh my God, how's my name? I think oh. so. It was before you went to South America. Yeah, it was actually before I went to Ecuador. Yeah, yeah, yeah. eighteen, nineteen years old. Still look that age. But um, but so we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen really quick. So we can jump into some of the nuts and bolts of it. I'm gonna go ahead and meet you guys back so we can um, kind of minimize the feedback on the recording so that way there's not a lot of you know you guys are doing this while you're listening back through it. And so let's go ahead and share some stuff. And if you guys have any questions, just drop them in the chat, it'll pop up yeah, in my uh, in the top right corner for me. So you'll see here that one of the um, one of the biggest things that anyone can do is start events on Facebook, okay? And let me go ahead and pull up the audiences and over here and do, 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 do. So one of the biggest things I wanna do is look at people who are, um, see right here, Brett, back when I was doing different, um, different events and different stuff in the past, I had a catalog of past events that I did that I just wanted to go back and harvest. And so when you're doing any kind of paid advertising on um, Facebook, it's only going to amplify the organic and what you're able to do. Anything else though, apart from organic, if you're not doing things manually, nothing on paid advertising is going to matter. You're going to waste more money than you, than you try to invest into it. It is just going to be an absolute pain. And, and so with, uh, and if you guys have any questions, uh, as I'm going through this, drop them in the chat. We'll unmute so that way we can kind of minimize the feedback on it. But, uh, but then towards the end of it, we're going to just really start spitballing because I know this is, this is going to start firing off ideas and start connecting some dots for you guys. But, uh, but being able to create an audience, you want to do a custom audience first. And so you want to be able to track it. So I'm going to just open this up for just a round mental reference point so you guys have that. But being able to have an event, because when I think of event, Brett, you and I both know, and Derek, you too, like when people come in person or they come to show up, it's more, it's higher intent. And so with the people that actually click through and do different things, you can say I have a little bit too many um, Facebook pages that I manage, way too many ideas sometimes, and just go in there, harvest the your, uh, username so that we no one else gets it, right? And <laughs> let's go through. So, and we're not done yet. All right. <laughs> go to here. All right. So I'm going to come over here, looking at different events. So I don't have anything except this one right here. And you can see the 44 of, uh, that are interested and eight that are going. Now, what does this mentally say that you guys can, I don't know if you guys can unmute yourselves here, but um, when it says eight that are going and 44 are interested, which one's the warm audience? Let's see if you can unmute yourself. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Should be good to go. Okay, say that one more time. So when it comes down to right here, you see where it says eight going to this event. I'm just using the, today's event as an example. But you see how it says eight going and 44 that are interested. Which one's going to be the hot audience? And which one's going to be the interested and more warm audience? Kind of gave it away. But so you can see, I mean, I can't, I just gave that away. But you can see the eight that are going, those are more people that are high intent. But also those that are going, uh, that are interested are also those that are considering it. So those are the type of people that are really on the edge, not 100% sure, but then you've got people that are actually that showed up like you guys tonight that are really hungry to actually do something with this. Now, this is where it gets really cool. When people who are going, who respond to as going, as interested, 
you know, that even visited the uh, page, you've gone people who have engaged with it. Derek, you got a train over there? <laughs> Not <about me. laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought there was a track above you, man. It's my uh, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hear a train a coming, but um, <laughs> but there's different elements to by purchasing the tickets, engaging with the tickets, and so people who had the intention of purchasing the, purchasing the tickets. Now, these are all different degrees of the psychology of a person. All right, and so let me go back over here to the chat really quick, just kind of. Kind of if you guys can mute yourselves really quick, that'd be awesome. So that way, I just kind of minimize the bad That's good. Let me go ahead there really quick. Oh, wait, dang. I just unmuted you guys. All right, cool. So one of the biggest things is that with going and are interested, they're, they're on the edge. They're either going to show up or they're not. And so those are the people that any kind of direct offers that you have, those are the ones that you want to put back in front of them. So if any kind of event, we'll spitball about some different ideas, but we're going to work backwards and build it backwards. So if they're going or interested, they're really curious about it and they're going to do that. But does that mean they hit on the uh, hit on the ticket sales or did they come in and actually get registered? And you'll see how we'll break down the different elements of this event um, side of it. So that way you know exactly what, like what link to put where and the psychology and the, like the videos and images and blah, blah, blah. But going through um, with people who have responded going, those are those that have, I mean, they're, they want to go, but some of them may click going and some may not hit the event ticket side of it. Where they may go through and it's like different types of posts that I've, that I've been putting out there throughout this week. You've, uh, you've probably seen some of those go up, some of the videos that I recorded earlier today. I mean, I was in the middle of like four other things, recorded the video, looked straight into the webcam, hit record, download, and done. And threw it up there, and that was it. And uh, I'll show you some of the different transcripts and different tools that I use uh, to be able to, to actually put the, the transcribe the video within minutes without having to pay any team to do that. And so you get really lean really quick, and that's what's really, really cool about it. And so with having it going, uh, responding uh, interested, if they visited the event page, that means they're just passing by. You know, they're just passing by. If they're responding interested. They're, I mean, they're, they're warm. They're, they're curious. People who have engaged or who have engaged with the tickets, those are the people that have clicked on it, and they're not confirmed yet. What I do a lot of times, if you can use Eventbrite, it actually hooks right into it, and you can actually track through the back end of it. I didn't feel like going through and setting up all the whole another account and doing all of these different things with Eventbrite. It's usually very simple, but I don't usually um, leverage Eventbrite. I just use Calendly because I've got that hooked up in my tech stack, so that way I can ping pong it all the way down to a chain reaction. But eventually, with Eventbrite, when you're setting up different events and different things, you can. There's different ways to skin the cat. So depending on if you want to track like uh, uh, ticket sales, that that is more of an event style thing. And so with Calendly, that's more of like a training, different types of things that you can use as well. So there's different ways to skin the cat. But as far as them going through who had the intention of purchasing a ticket, those are the ones that got there in life either got busy or they didn't show up. There's a reason why they did not show up. And so you got to think about the direct offers, the different things, the reason why we're putting on this event. So those are the different degrees that we can start putting that content back in front of them. You guys follow me so far? All right, cool. Let me go ahead and get your... Uh, do this really quick. All right, cool. So I can see you guys over here right next to me. So I can see <laughs> but uh, but so this is way this way you guys can understand the psychology behind it. So if they're going to this event, whatever we uh, whatever we put together just tonight on this call, uh, just different ways to help you guys get started, incubate interest. That's the thing about raising the hype, of raising the awareness, and then putting that content back in front of them. Man, when it comes down to this event, guys, this right. Actually, let me hold off before I go to that tab. I probably spent maybe 35 bucks on ads just to get it out there and put it in front of people. Okay. And in using doing this check mark ahead, mark ahead of time, these are the results. And these are the types of things that with the different types of data points that we can track. So this way start to think about the psychology of people going to it and the age demographic, what are their interests and what, why are we actually putting on this type of event? So who, who do we really want to target? Like get real with yourself. Like, we don't serve everyone and Derek I know you're like anybody that's got a neck I got it like you know like and it's like I know it, like some people ain't got a neck okay so let's be real and so, you know and um <laughs> but, but anyway so being able to dial in like who are the people that have the disposable income yeah you know, what are the things like for engagements that are coming up like I was truly coming home and you know being able to dial in what are the events coming up what are some of the things that we can tap into that what are the age demographics and get like super, super real. Think about, 
from that 4% rule, like who are the people that are my most popular clients right now? You know, like which one bring, what, what people make me, what's that, what group of folks make me the most money right now? And so that way you can start doubling that and start bringing in more folks of that, of that caliber, of that demographic, of where they're at age-wise, location, um, you know, gender, race, and being able to bring that in because, I mean, I don't really, I think mine's just guys, it don't matter. Uh, well, I have a heavy, um, it just depends on what the offer is. So, I mean, it's crazy because when you're looking at all these different data points, you know how to really dial into that person's heart and help them get the solution that you're really trying to give them. And so that we can serve them the best. Like that's where it all ha that's where it all stems from. So if you can start to sit back and think, like, man, as I'm sharing, going through all this, thinking right now in the back of your mind is some of those people that right now this time of year, or some of the folks that you're able to serve the best right now. Who are they? Uh, who are they right now? How like what's the age? What's the um, are they mainly guys? Is it mainly women? Um, like, are they are, are they wives? Are they single moms? Are they you know single dads? Yeah, you know, being able to go through just go through a lot of those and start um, start thinking through. A lot of that and do I'm just kind of just kind of walk through that mentally but look at the location um, hey Chicago Illinois did not expect that so you got Hawaii I think they heard me about my honeymoon plans but I go to the tickets and the 13 tickets and so looking at the 13 ticket clicks remember what we had looked at over here and this man uh, in the ads manager this is the people who had the intention of purchasing a click of purchasing a ticket that I can start setting up over here on this side of it and start to actually go through and dial in on that demographic. And then also include folks who and had the intention of purchasing the ticket, because those are the people I wanna put content back in front of, and say, hey, dang, you missed out on last night. Here's the, uh, here's the training for the recording of that, and put that back in front of them, but I need their email to get that and capture that. So you see how it's like being able to um, put, get, a, get a big old wide catch night out there first, file it down to the people that are behind tent, and they put the content back in front of them, so this way they start you start being able to nudge them without really doing much and exerting yourself and over stretching yourself. So that's part of being able to have the organic foundation to it. I just I just realized that I look like I'm in a dungeon right now. So my, <laughs> I have been building chatbots all day. <laughs> my precious. So we're gonna go through the audience side of it and um, go through age and gender. So we already got that. The reach is where it's it's pretty interesting to look at how it takes off because what I really want to do is I work my network, I go to my personal profile, and I think back to like Derek, for instance, like for you, man, I wanted to invite you because I knew that you were going to get a lot of value out of this because of our past discussions. Like this is just me thinking back, you know, not getting too fancy with it. I'm just thinking like, hmm, you know what, this could have probably help him get some sales in, even like starting by the over the weekend and get some attention going in. And that way you can walk away with this like, bro, this is ridiculous. And that way you can start to even too, like think about referral partners as well. Like when you're building out these events, like if people are not at the level, uh, not at the level or the point of the chapter in their life where they can actually have disposable income, find ways to put money in their pocket, right? And so it's like services that I've got range from 1K to 10K you know, for the development and deposit and from 500 bucks a month to 5,000 to $10,000 a month. Depends on the scope of the project. You know, it's not just about you know, it, it's not just about trying to just figure out a solution for everyone. It's like, what do I really enjoy, and what does actually God call me to do? And you know, I need to be able to protect my heart, protect my vision, and also protect my worship. So the things that if I'm not doing this and I'm not having the systems in place, man, it chokes it chokes it out easily. You know, I have some folks paying on messenger. You see them right down here, but um. And not listen to voice notes, but being able to see how it reaches out to 1,300 folks. We had uh, 28 event views. And kind of going back over here, remember where it said the people who stopped by the event, who viewed the event. So we've got literally 1,300 folks that are truly interested in it, but I've got 52 people that if being able to get this content back in front of them causes them to create a, to make a purchase, then what happens is I'm able to actually build out something that can really give them genuine value, solve a problem, and then they just, they're able to understand what's really going on. So that's where you're able to think about that as far as like, what is that one thing that people come to me? In other words, your most valuable, um, your most popular product or service. And that's where you want to think about uh, these events. So you want to be able to uh, just think about that and structure out the copy, the introduction, why they're here. And I found that usually if you do an image or you do a, a video, videos are really more entertaining. And especially when it comes down to like typing videos. And you can find a way to do typing videos. I mean, 
I've got a team who does my content creation, so they're fantastic. And I'm able to just drop a video in here and we'll come back in here and look at the editing side of it. Because when you're on your phone too, a lot of times it, you, you, I mean, 80 to 90% of the folks are gonna be on their phone. I mean, I don't know if you guys were on your desktop and you saw this event go out, or if you just really quick went to your phone and went, done. Like, I mean, that's my guess. And being able to uh, being able to uh, build out this event is where even too, like for a real estate agent, I know Brad, you were, um, you're doing some stuff in real estate, or I don't know if you still are or not. But, um, yeah. but even to being able to same day type of events, getting awareness out there, think about the people that you've talked to, even on your Facebook profile that you that have said no, or not right now, and then do an event to help give them value to where you can just take some of the knowledge that, you know, but people like whenever you're in a meeting with someone and that one thing that always blows their mind, you're like, this is easy. What are you talking about? Yeah, you know, that, that, that one thing right there is what you can lead with immediately. The thing that you can teach in your sleep is what you need to do an event about and be able to just share the insight and practical knowledge that like right now, like this is simply what I did on, I think Monday. And I was like, no, it was last week. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's see what happens. You know, if no one shows up, cool. I got, I got still got stuff to do <laughs> and you know, no big deal. <laughs> and it's no sweat off my back, but I know for a fact that if people start to engage with it, then that means there's interest and that's where you can start building things around that and stop trying to dump money into paid advertising for split testing. Leverage organic stuff like this right here. So with the, uh, with the description right here, you're pretty much just telling people what it's all about. Um, I actually did some stuff over on LinkedIn as well to kind of gauge the interest. That's where Brett, I uh, got connected with it. And I said, you know what? Let's have some fun. Facebook event and just transfer. I just copied and pasted that entire copy in the description, kind of modified a little bit. So that way you didn't think it was weird telling me to comment me, train me on the bottom of it. You're like, what? And so just to register, like register right here, put the link within the description. So that way it's something that stands out. Now, normally I would do a lot of emojis. But I just went copy, paste, dump, save. And that's what it was super easy. Set up a different event in Calendly because I wanted to uh, just, I mean, that's part of my tech stack. And so when you're coming in here, as far as this goes, any kind of, uh, any kind of location, you're going to try and pull up a location when it comes to whether it's a Facebook page or a registered location. So if it's a link or Eventbrite, you're just going to want to just come into here and do a space. So that way you don't try and do that. It'll just say, just use this. And so when people click that, you'll have different points. So when people actually start to go through that, it's different touch points. You don't need to put it in the city if it's not an in-person one. But if you do have it at a location, then you definitely want to tag that in there and have people check in as they're going by. And if you start to use that, we'll go over that in a, in a whole other discussion. But I use that to also ping back over into a high intent audience to get back and sort of like spend a dollar a day you know, five bucks a day minimum and get back in front of them, but it's all driven by organic and those paid side of it is are released based on performance. So this way you're attracting people that you're talking to just by Facebook videos and using live streams and being able to connect with them and they get to know you, they get to actually, they actually get along with you. <laughs> and then that's when that trust is built over that little bit of time. But if you know their objections ahead of time, that's when you can start answering it immediately. They're like, dang, this is ridiculous love it and so the biggest thing is you know your sales script you know the rebuttals that people have all the time you know those qualifying questions that you already ask folks when it comes down to what you're already doing to locate them and so answer those you know play the devil's advocate brett i think you have got some uh i think area 51 knows that you're on zoom bro so <laughs> but uh but being able to being able to have a description that addresses the problems and answers them right then and there. And just really, it's just being able to know that and to, uh, select the event, uh, the different types of the industry. Now, this is gonna help with the ranking so that if people are looking for specific events, they're gonna try and find this. That's why in Chicago, Chicago um, you know, Texas, and I targeted for Alabama just for a little bit, but that's, I mean, it's the category of networking because I also wanna bring people together because I don't wanna just have it for, you know, just to train. I want folks to get connected with each other and that's where being able to be a community uh, incubator to a degree, that's where uh, Facebook just really enjoys. Because if you can, if you can bring unity and, and collaborate with folks, man, they love that. And so that's where sharing and commenting uh, are some of the most, uh, the highest ranking uh, engagements you can get on Facebook organic to start tracking and being able to put a lot of content on here. And so you want to just the date and the time of the event that you're going to have here. And then let's go here. And so you can do different types of keywords here, like I said. You gotta be really specific on it. So they have some of their uh, some of the basic ones. 
and to use social media marketing. I just separated my keywords. Sometimes I'll start to mess with them. Brad, you good? <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> I thought they were about to bring you up in the vortex. But, uh, but you start being able to, um, you start to have a uh, ad confirmation for the guest here. I didn't really need to have to do that just because it's a straight, like super clean, super easy, get in, email me an email, done. Reminders are, you're able to just drop and go. I know I need to be here, just remind me later, and I'll show up. Like that's it, that's the way I want this to be able to be designed so that way folks they don't have to go through all this like, sparkly like, toys and all these trendy gadgets and gizmos and they just didn't want it to be gimmicky. Like that's the thing for me, it's like if it's straight cut, and, I, and people, people appreciate that, yeah, they just want, they don't want to have too much and still like, oh, here, try this, upsell, upsell, upsell. But dude, if it's just that, keep it simple. You know, a lot of times simple stuff, you can make the most money from that because it cuts down the time on that. And you don't have to put together a massive funnel to get people to show up. Hello, you're here. So even too, I shot you guys some messages and other things too, because, you know, these are the relationships and getting stuff started with that. And these are just different things you can do as well. And so now starting putting the ads back out in front of these people who have taken the different actions based on as far as the, uh, as far as the engage, different types of engagement they've had, whether it's being interested, going, clicking on the event tickets, and starting to be able to even get registered for it. Those are the types of, um, types of actions that we can start to put content back in front of those people and to start getting in and, and start to uh, nudge them along in the sales process too. So let's go back through here. One of the things too is that up, leading up to the event, you want to uh, just have some of that content, stuff that you you wish that they had or they knew before you would uh, you talk to them. Yeah, you know, like a lot of times when you're going through like on these phone calls with folks, um, you're like, man, I wish I had told them this ahead of time. Ugh. You know, like those different things. Those are the types of, of thoughts you want to create into content, and it's not something that is any, anything fancy. Yeah, you know, when it comes down to when it, like any of these like for the training for like. For the gift, you know, it's like, like it's going to be able, you're going to be able to use chatbot automation and be able to create these different types of engagement because that's where we're going to dig into some of the retargeting and the ads and go over to some of the chatbot stuff too to help save time on that. But, uh, but when it comes to the event side of it, you want to get this base foundation down, know exactly what are, what are the main problems that you can solve right now with giving people the tidbits of information, like that lead magnet. That is something that's going to literally attract leads into what you're doing and being able to like this recording right here is going to be something that we I can cut up and to do different uh, video snippets and sneak previews that really just hit on these high points of where people can start to leverage free resources and you know, just think about these different ways that I would love excuse me that I would love to engage with folks and just like help unravel some of these problems with that and so I'm pretty sure you guys have probably got some ideas rolling around your head if you have any questions you can unmute I don't want to talk a lot of the time let's go ahead. Yes. Where's the patent? All right. So, are you guys gonna mute, man? Um, if you guys have any questions, man, fire away. Because if you guys have any ideas for events, Derek, I know your your mind's probably racing like crazy. <laughs> so I I am actually terrible at planning events. So I always need help with that. Like that's the part that I am not good at. I'm creative as far as making stuff, but as far as planning events. I am awful. Mm -hmm. Well, like, what are some of the things that you can do that people always ask you about? Like, what are some of the things people constantly ask you about? You're like, it's kind of, you're kind of repetitive. That if you just heard it off the whim, you're like, oh yeah, boom, 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 and they're like. <laughs> so I, I think for me right now, <laughs> um, it's you got that learning, visual. <laughs> <laughs> learning how to actually tie the ties, you know, so they they want to do that, um, yeah. or tie both sides. So a lot of people are afraid to do that. Um, they ask for a lot of tutorial. Um, let's see. So I do styling. So I guess uh, teaching people or teaching people how to actually dress or what they need in their closets and stuff like that is. Dude, you could do a live stream on that all day, every week, and I guarantee you, people will show up hmm. every week. All you gotta do is pick a day and a time that's usually good in general for folks. You know, that's. I mean, think about this with small groups and with church, right? So you want to find a neutral time. It's good for a lot of folks on average. You know, some folks can't. But 
that's, that's where being able to have like, being people to show up and they can um, they can be default muted on there, but I can just show up on a live stream on the event, attend, engage, check in, and do different stuff with that. And all you're doing is just literally putting up a camera like here, and you can even use your phone. Yeah, you know, get a ring light. Boom. I mean, you've got uh, equipment. So you yeah, got, you got, sure, you got equipment on, on, on abundance. Um, but being able to use that different type of setup you have, do a boutique walkthrough once a week, and you start building and compile, and you build on that compounding traffic, and then you start cutting your cost per lead as far as people booking appointments and products being bought. True. So easy and you can do it off the cuff you don't have to think about it i guarantee you that if someone invited you to speak on stage about that you could probably speak for two hours i did not even blink an eye i'm not sure about all that man i like to keep it short and simple well i know that but you're you're the kind of guy i can imagine that can speak for two minutes two hours or two days yeah it just depends on how long it is and if you're ready for it i mean you you the designer what i'm getting at is that the design is second nature to you that you can just there's different things that you're doing naturally that you can start to to segregate um, to to separate it into different like, categories and different uh, different teaching uh, breakouts of it, and heck, you can pick a topic for a month and just cover that. Saying how do you like how do you make your own bow tie? You know, do stuff like that, and then people are like, dang, but doesn't he do that? Like, yeah, but here's the like, DIY stuff is massive. Yeah, and you're right. A lot, of, a lot of folks don't take the time to do it. That's why they pay you because you're the craftsman behind it. I'm not, I don't have the will, desire, but I'm curious and I'd love to know how it's made. It doesn't mean I'm going to go out and take my, like, take my time to, to do all that. I don't know. No, I, I definitely don't. I, I love understanding it, but I don't have time to go out and I definitely don't have the patience for it. That's for sure. Yeah. Like, and a lot of folks don't either. And so there's a reason why you're in, in, in being able to do this so well. And so I did, I, Honestly, I would set up, think about one topic per week, uh, per month that you can cover and break it down to four different things. And I mean, honestly, man, you can start to create different um, two pages and different graphics and different things to, to get people curious and to get them interested and build that momentum. Like that's what you want, build that momentum. Because when you go to set up an event, there's one page that you can start to use as the host. And so these are 52 people that have high intent that are super curious leaning in right. but now right. i can just bump and just literally flick content back in front of them and start to say hey look here's the warm here's the curious stuff it breaks down a little bit of this 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 and this and then here's the stuff that you can get that's usually a thousand dollars but it's half the price etc because of black friday coming up you're like mm. and and that's where being able to to get that different type of content back in front of them and so doing that type of event under the uh, of an event Getting that uh, type of concept back in front of them, from them actually just being able to dial into that interest is, it's, it's easy, uh, but it's really just writing down what is the most popular thing right now that people are asking you about. I can imagine, how do, what do I need to do for a wedding? Yeah. Um, I got you. Uh, <laughs> so different ideas like that, just write them down. You know, let okay. the creative juices flow. And then I guarantee you there's four questions that you have per of those topics, like at like minimum, that you have that people ask you, and then turn each one of those into a month series. And you have 12 of those, you are good for the entire year. So, that makes sense. Yeah, and it's, so, it's keep it on cadence. Let me ask you a question then. Sure. So, so you're talking about creating an event mm-hmm. based on, on your business page Mm -hmm. and using that as the organic traffic rather than using like a um, like creating an audience in an ad do both because over here in the ads manager that's Mm -hmm. where we're uh, with the audiences right here Mm -hmm. that's where you type in business.facebook.com and you go to that specific ad account and you go to the audience tab over here so if you have any past events that you may have, um, mm-hmm. you just want to come over to the ads manager, go to all tools, and you'll pull up the audience uh, right here. Mm-hmm. And custom audiences. Up, yeah, just bring up the custom audiences. And that custom audience will start tracking the more organic that you start doing things and that cuts mm-hmm. the cost per lead down. So you're talking about if I'm going to break something down into four, uh, four topics or subtopics, 
Mm -hmm. um, then I'm going to use that. I'm going to do that in the event. As far oh, so that's already built into the event. So when people go through and they, that's part of the tracking behind it. They'll start to know if they click on the event, visit it, if they uh, clicked on the uh, ticket link and didn't purchase anything or didn't register for it, um, or if they did go through and they actually got registered for it. So it'll start to track it and update it automatically. And so you can see here that I've got past events that I happen to have. I'm like, well, most people know me, you know, and so I can start putting it back in front of them as well. And different events that I've done and um, like with my interviews that I did with Legacy Driven Life a while back, people know me. And so that's where I have that happen to be there. But when you go to an event and set up something brand new, that's where you just set up the custom audience first. So you set up the event first and you do all this in here, but then you go over to the ads manager and that's when you set up that custom audience. Okay. So when you're talking about doing the four um, basically videos, are you talking about just doing like a Facebook live? Yeah. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Okay. And that's, or you, or you can do it on Zoom like right here. But I mean, to start out and get it rolling, it's not going to be anything to put it on a, a Facebook Live. And putting it on a Facebook Live on your page and then sharing it into that event. So that's where being able to have that cross channel because that stage is right for that ad to be kicked off to that event because the event's hooked into the page. And that's where you see over here when you set up the event it's right here. So you can look at the host page and that's where you want to have that your Facebook page as the host page. Does that make sense? Right. Right here. So I've got my personal page and then also I've got my personal profile right here, but I want to have it as my company page. So that way I can have that cross channel the traffic going straight to that. So that way I can start doing different things, but also I've got my personal brand in there well as well, because I've got you know people that know my personal brand but I want to start familiarizing my, my company brand with that. So that way people can start to see that easy transition to They're like, Jeremy, what? Oh, cool. Yeah, it just, it happens by osmosis. And so depending on what page you have, you want to have that as the host page. And then that's way, uh, that way after the, uh, after the event's set up and gets a little bit of traction, you can come in here, set up the audience with that and it'll start tracking it automatically. Okay. So, um, here's what I'm, here's what I'm working on. I realize that, you know, writing is not, I don't have as much traction on writing as I thought that I would have. Mm -hmm. I'm not as disciplined in that area, but as far as video, I'm used to standing in front of people talking, whether it's spontaneous or whether it's, you know, three points or three bullet points on a post-it note, or if it's me with, curriculum that I've written, that I've written. Uh, or an outline basically. Um, so I'm working on basically a couple different uh, funnels within my website and or automations, I guess it would be, because I guess the Facebook live and all the social media would be part of that funnel. But the, um, the main thing that I'm, that I'm working on is different, different tiers of video. So I'm, t I'm, I'm, the main thing is to get them into a paid membership every month for spiritual mentoring. Gotcha. Okay. Now, is that for the different tiers of as a price wise, or is that more of complexity wise? No, it's actually complexity. So one, the, the, the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to convert my email um, that that's kind of grown cold. I'm going to convert it rather than sending out blog posts and stuff like that. I'm Look down here on the screen. Mm -hmm. One thing you can add in there is that email list and combine both the past emails that you do have and then okay. combine them into here with the events. So that we can retarget and start to really file down to the people that already know you. So are you talking about a retargeting ad or are you talking about um, just remarketing and just running it back um, through them so, through organic or? So that's where with that, you create a custom audience with that email list and also the events. So you want to combine the two together. And so you can start to do that. And when you go and do the ad, you can combine and include both those custom audiences. 
and that way you can start to uh, invite them and start to bring them into that. So that way they're like, oh my gosh, this is what Brett's doing again? Holy cow, this is really cool. And so that's where you can start to give them that content. That's what I did for Radway, man. I mean, we what we did is broke it down literally into 12 different main topics that he would always get angry about with people asking the dumbest <laughs> questions. And, um, and, and you know him, man. He, I'm glad he's retired now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he but wore we broke, everything on his face. He wore everything on his eyebrows. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> but he, what we did was we broke it down into exactly what we're, uh, what we're talking about in uh, four different weeks. So it was sustainable because we're ripping and running, man. We got stuff to do. We got to make the business go. We're not here to be an Instagram influencer. Yeah. Right. And so we want to also create this into recordings and be able to break it down for consumable, uh, consumable content in the future. So you want to get, you want to put up that big old bat signal and say, here's an event that's going on. And that's where um, even too going up to up here in this tab, going back over to the event. Um, one of the, one of the biggest things is putting a video in there. So for me, I wanted to put something that was super simple that you're like, what the heck is that box? Is that the office? Like, what is that? Oh, okay. You know, and so being, we keep it really easy. And, you know, if you're leading up to that, if it's, you know, every week or every two weeks, you want to space the content you're posting on there. Um, you know, you want to space it out decently so that way you're not overwhelming yourself either. Because, you know, people, <laughs> People don't really mind about content. You know, they don't really pay much attention when it's like two weeks out from the event or like a week out from the event. But what happens is leading up to it, 80% of the folks come in at the last 20% of the call. Yeah. You know, and just because they're like, oh, crap, it's late. <laughs> and they run in and they go sideways like Tokyo Drift. And so you want to be able to get that content to more active towards the well, closer to that. So that way they're starting to also incubate through as well. But you want to we're going to have different mechanisms in place over a period of time to nurture and equip them to do. Well, I've dabbled, I've dabbled in doing events, um, but I, um, I got more response when it was a live online event rather than me advertising a local event. Right. And I mean, I got a good response from new people, but, the thing was, is it wasn't moving quick enough. And um, I do did an event that that I called Kingdom Conversations. And what I was using was I was using the um, events on my page. And then I brought the tickets over into Eventbrite. And then I captured everything and did some auto response. I was using... Um, Gosh, gosh, convert kit at the time. And so I was, I was pulling in new leads and um, I, I think the thing is, is that I've, I've worked different pieces of the puzzle, but having the whole puzzle together has not happened yet. So I can see what you're talking about. So I'm, I'm, I'm having to learn how to actually get the call to action in the um, social media over into my website. And, well, I see, uh, that's part of that tracking and having that pixel install on your site and knowing what page you're going to and having the offline events in there as well when it comes to, um, this is different types of targeting. Because for me, when it comes to these different types of targeting, it's all about different types of psychology. My t I have a touch screen, so that's why my camera's going like that. <laughs> so... With the website, you've got different types of targeting with that. that you're, you, can, you can set up if they go to the homepage and start tracking what buttons they're clicking to. So you can track the different types of intent. But if it's a funnel where it's just a squeeze page, it goes to, uh, to membership. Like, uh, the, giving them a training, something that's like this, that's on Evergreen, to give them something solid to walk away from, it's powerful. And so that's where you can start to have that. And they can walk away scot-free and do literally nothing and have a win because it's all about deposits and withdrawals. So, yeah, you know, if it uh, if it just does, if this doesn't help you guys, then you'd be like, <laughs> like <laughs> well, here's you know? here's what I've got planned, and here's what I'm working on right now is um, the the opt-in on my website would be a free membership of short uh, videos once a week and say maybe a um, seven to 10 minute video that would be a how-to. Right. 
Um, and then that would be free. And of course, during that, I would be marketing to them to do one of two things. One would be, uh, or one of two things that would be, you know, not at the same time, but one would be, I have an evergreen coaching program on there that's 12 weeks long. Okay. The other upsell would be the membership, which would be monthly. Okay. My plan is to create more organic uh, activity through in Facebook with Facebook lives on a regular basis and not necessarily scheduled, but just a lot, create a lot more uh, organic activity. But then um, one of the things that the Lord told me was forums is where I'll flourish. So I'm going to take that kingdom conversation and advertise it as an event and then bring all of that over, get them in the opt-in as much as possible and then start marketing the other things to them. From there, once they're in the membership, then I'll offer them private coaching and uh, consultation for ministers. So, you know, it's just, uh, I've got all that in the works. So I'm just kind of, you know, the reason I'm throwing it out here is because I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm having to iron out the wrinkles in my thinking process to make sure it's streamlined. With, let's look at the bottom of the screen really quick. So you've got the main part of it. Let's just say that's Facebook. And then you've got here, your membership. And then you've also got the main membership portal. And you've got one, two, and three upsells that are going to be in there. So you've got low fruit, mid tier, and then high ticket. And so, or high touch. And so once you get them in here, then you're good. You've got, you've got a member, you've got somebody in there, you've got, they're comfortable and they're getting settled in, so to speak. And that's the ben, uh, the benefit of the free membership site because that's the biggest hump to get into it is like create an account, <laughs> you know, and like, they don't really want to, but that's where being able to track on all the pages of the website with the membership site, but then also too, with the event side of it and the Facebook side of it, you've got three different types of targeting, but then you've also got the customer list too. So you've got it to where you can have using Zapier and some other tools to actually bring in. So when they come in from Facebook, they come into here and give you that email list, that email. Then you can have that ping back over into that custom audience. That will help pop them back into the event because they've already gone through the website. And so that's where they're going to be able to come down through and start shifting through that. And that's what's going to register with the custom audience and be able to bring them back into that entire piece of content. So that's going to be that entire closed loop, but you're going to have it to where it goes down to different levels from cold to warm to hot to being solid. And also the second purchase and being able to refer someone to you and a gamify it and really spread the word even faster because there's no such thing as a lost lead. It's just either they're going to be a customer, a client, or a referral partner, period. Yeah. yeah. Or they're just going to hit your guts, which is very rare um, that happens. But, you know, you have people who are trolls and idiots and, you know, big buffoons and whatever. Well, and they, they don't last long around me. Um, <laughs> sniper. <laughs> I'll cut them loose in a heartbeat. Um, man, cut, Brett will cut somebody in half, but look at, look at him and cut his eyes from half the football field. But, well, man. I just don't, uh, homie just don't play. And, oh, you God. know, after. I'm so after, glad we're recording this, Brett. I just got um, that in live. Oh my God! <laughs> well, what I what I mean is, you know, <laughs> you might have to put that as a TikTok video. Can okay, okay. I make it into a ringtone? I'm saying that again. <laughs> Say that again. I said, do you mind if I make that snippet into a ringtone? Which one? What, what? Homie, don't play. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the the the. That's that's my blunt way of saying I, you came too late for me. Right. You know, after 25 years of being a pastor, I just don't play people games anymore. Oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. the thing on live stream. You put them in their place. And some of those people that go in and troll have become some of my biggest ambassadors. The guys are like, ooh, whenever someone else comes in, I'm like, you want to tell him what happens when he does this and if he continues to do it? And I'm kidding you not. I, on Instagram, I, it's the best. And they're like, "Oh snap! It just got real." Well, <laughs> yeah. well, 
Let me let me say there's there's a couple things that I've learned. One is I don't have anything to prove. Right. Yeah. The second is I don't tolerate arguing. So if if a person is not really there to learn and they only want to argue, then I can dismiss them real quick. And the and then I don't have to be rude about it. But um, the thing that I mean, I don't tolerate that kind of stuff on my Facebook and I don't have to get rude about it. I just say, well, I'm done. <laughs> and, and you know, the thing is, is that the, um, I'm here to benefit people so I can benefit them. I'm not going to play their game. And that's one of the things that I want to qualify them by doing a free video training videos is I'm not just here to give free content. I'm here to mentor people that are serious. And if they're not serious, and I just don't want them just to flippantly take what I'm, what I'm teaching and as if it's the weekly video uh, or weekly church service. And what did the, what did, oh, it was great, but what did he say? Well, I don't remember, but it, we had a great time. I'm not into that, you know, so I'm in, I'm here to change lives and to offer discipling with a difference to where people know the voice of God. They know how to become the vision that they receive from him and they know how to be the visionary and what the process is of becoming that and how long it takes. Cause you know, most people want have a vision and they want to fulfill it the next week. And you know you got to incubate that thing for a you know a good five years before you even start gaining traction. And um, Wait, so that's how long it takes for character to build. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's called lifestyle. It's called life. <laughs> so the gifts don't. So the gifts are not a substitute mm, for. It. Well, you know you can't. There is one thing we will never substitute in this life, and that's called time. And, you know, life experience cannot, um, cannot be replaced by knowledge. So, you know, because you gain wisdom and understanding and, and patience and so much character and everything else along with that. So, you know, I'm preaching to the choir, but the thing that, the thing that I'm basically saying think. is yeah. that you don't what? You don't, homie don't play? No, I said I don't sing, just not good. Oh, okay, I got you. See, that's so, why I like TikTok because it covers up my voice. Okay, I'm not even familiar with TikTok. I just heard, I just heard that name just this past week. I guess on the yeah. news or something. I'm gonna learn right. how to monetize it. I got about eighty thousand accidental views on one video that's on there, and went from like fifty followers to like two hundred in like just two weeks on it. That's crazy. And there's some powerful stuff, man. Shoot. And like it's it's crazy. Like check it out. This is. Just a Chick Fil A video, just dumb. And just ask me if you go in and say my pleasure, um, if it's real or not. Oh, there were so many TikTok employees that are not Chick Fil A Chick Fil A employees. They got so pissed off. They're like, I swear, if you come in and do that, we're gonna, oh, you're an idiot. <laughs> like, and it went, it went kind of bananas. Um, so was that when and, you walked in and said something to them that they came back with like ice cream or something? So that was, I was doing a side by side video. So like, you know, do fit people do a Facebook dual live. They have side by side. Uh -huh. I can do what they call a duet and I can get literally, yeah, 80,200. Wow. And I'm, on this video that I had is about over 24,000 votes. And the analytics on it are actually really cool. I can look at the age demographic and I'm just experimenting. I haven't monetized it yet. But I've got the, that key, that video has yeah, yeah. hundred and eleven hours. Like this is the I don't know if you can see it or not, but hundred and eleven hours worth of watch time, fifteen seconds. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's what you were talking about the other day. Yeah. Dude, and when you hit a thousand uh, thousand followers, that's when you get TikTok live stream. Hmm. Wow. Like that's when I'm gonna start really doing product reviews and different stuff too. And that's where it's gonna get real fun, Mr. Derek. You and I gonna have to chip that, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's 
that's what's cool though it's like no matter if it's tiktok i mean even on pinterest i mean i over i i don't know if you guys have seen that pinterest but i've got about a quarter million monthly viewers on my personal pinterest page and it's like the principles that apply to what we're talking about here it's like what is the organic style like what is the organic side of it that is going to attract people naturally and then how can we use that to put back in front of people and really connect with them as well? And, and so that's where the paid advertising comes back to, to be a surgical with it. So we can track on like this big, massive behemoth of organic of organic content. You, you pop in front of them. So you have 246,000 views, um, 41,000 uh, engagement. So you look at the butterfly effect with, um, with, uh, with Pinterest. And I've got maybe four, like maybe 200 followers. And it's just crazy. The type of, the type of engagement that you have on it, like with Pinterest, with any kind of content with Facebook, it's all about the psychology of it. Redneck and CEO. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So there's my video right there that Joyce snagged at me. I'm just like, I'm chowing down on chips, man. People are like, this guy's such a goober. No, stop it. <laughs> like, and, and so I just, my personal, my personal brain is all about goofiness and using humor to encourage and inspire and mobilize people. And that's really where I feel like And I just, it's a creative outlet. Same thing with TikTok, man. Like, these are the things that God's really just like seamlessly doing. And it just flows right into my creative genius because, I'm, like Brett, you know, you've known me for how long? I mean, I've been able to harness my goofiness better to be actually, you know, for it to actually be funny. Um, so now it's like it's, it's being able to mix that into the marketing, being able to connect with people, and that's just a teaching style too. Also, that that structuring style of it. And it's really unique to to see how even with your because Brett, you're more of a D type personality. And so you've got your straight to it, cut straight to it. And that's where you can start to have this different structure of content. Mine's more cartoonish, goofy. But when it comes to the business side of it, I know my numbers. Like two sides of the spectrum. I've got the goofy, the goofy guy, goofy Dexter's Laboratory DDD side of me. And then I've got the other side of it that breaks everything down in numerical value. So you can get any return on that. Spend. And you're like, what just happened? Hang on, what? And, and it just melts the barriers down. That's just me. I don't have to force it. Yeah. And so, you know, like, that's even with you, Derek. You know, photo booths and different stuff, man. I'm not watching the Shannon's whole thing, but you're like, <laughs> like, <laughs> but it was cool because that's just you and you don't have to force it. And so these different types of things, think about what would be an event that I can do next week. I want you to think about that. I mean, like, Brad, you can start doing stuff like, like a Zoom call and do things. I mean, because you're talking about convert kits, I'm pretty sure you've got uh, experience when it comes to Zoom. Zoom is a really, really cool way to, um, to, yeah, to really it bring bit. it down and have control over it. Um, when you're talking about the meat, but when it comes to Facebook Live, you want to do stuff and you know, stop the scroll and get people plugged in. So we're past our time tonight. But, uh, <laughs> and now, I mean, does that all make sense? Though? I mean, I hope, like, it all connects. Did you guys have any questions about all of that? I know it's a lot of info. No, I think it all made sense, man. Like, so I haven't really used Facebook, Pinterest, or TikTok. The only thing I've really used religiously has been Instagram. I, I think we talked about that before. So I, I'm always open to using other other uh, avenues. So like that helps me out, man. Like knowing that this is actually something that would work. I have not put in the so. Yeah. And I have content, you know, so that's that's not the hard part. The content is the hard part. I think the backside of it is the part that I am not readily happy about doing. But not a lot of people are, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I know it has to be done, you know. So I'm I'm okay with learning. Well look at this right here as far as the Instagram profile goes. And that's where even on the Instagram side of it, check this out. All these different targeting tactics to it. Man, like I've got just a couple on here. Um, and be, I, dude, Instagram ads are cake when it comes to the engagement on it and pushing through there, man. I used to, I used to have a, a brand called um, 
it actually did start at uh, Instagram. Sorry, I'm a squirrel. But um, but I used to run Instagram out ads for guys to buy the open phone. You must. I'm like, I didn't really think there was a market for it, but then he started telling me about his profit margins and his process and everything else. And we raked in six grand in two weeks from twenty bucks in ads. Nice. And but it's because of the targeting, going back, getting the content out there first, and then looking yeah. at all the stuff and seeing which one. And gain the most engagement and double down on it. And so you can add that into the audience. And so you can look at, say, who engaged with the post and look at all these different degrees of it. Each one of these is important. So you have, firstly, who, uh, who engaged with a uh, profile, also who sent you a message. Like, do both of those together. So, like, just right here, super simple. Um, oh, come back here. Just do it like I saw on the floor. All all right, so just do that and you just save it as a warm audience and engaged audience. And those who are clicking on a past, you know, a past ad or anything like that, that's where you start to tie, dial in on that. And so you can start putting sales content in front of them instead of just nurturing content in front of the warm audience or in front of the cold audience. Um, that's where you can combine that, that audience into this event because that's where you can start to do start to do different things as far as combining this custom audience and that. When you're creating the ad and then include the event into it, you knock them both into it. Because when you take out an ad for it uh, for the event, I can pump it back over on Instagram. And so that's what's really, really cool about it. Um, let's come back over here. Hang on. I want to show you guys also the um, the cost per event response. I think it was like 70 cents. So it was cheap. Like cheap, cheap. Like cheap, cheap. Does that make sense, Derek? Sorry, like, yeah, no, no, that makes, made total sense. <laughs> I was just like matrix download, boom, received or not. <laughs> that would be nice. Can we do that? <laughs> I've asked the Lord for that for 10 years, man. You I can blink out, my like, eyes real fast. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can too. <laughs> like, see here. Um, so we had 37 bucks that was spent and 45 event responses just from the end. This is a lot. This is a lot. 84 cents per event registration. Now, what that can do is start to turn into leads. So, you know, I get one, like, one person that can, that can benefit from, you know, the social media blueprint or an automation of data and helping to quarterback things and helping them know exactly what you're going to say. And say, hey, look, dude, are you doing this X, Y, Z today, today, today? And making sure you got everything going on and staying on top of them or just doing it for them <laughs> and making sure that they've got everything to where they can just say, conceptually say, this is what I want to do. And so it's a good fit of eyes. So that's where it's like so many different ways that I could go with that. But just keep creating content, keep creating an event every single week, stay on top of it. And it doesn't have to be the same place. Yeah. So that's where my biggest thing with anyone who does has a product or a service that's very about high intent. Not high quantity, but high intent. Because think about it 50, 50 52 people that took action that I can now go back and have a discussion with them directly. Say, hey, look, I just saw you were uh, interested in the that you're doing. Uh, did you have any questions? We've got another stuff, uh, some other things right now. Um, love to connect with you directly. Discovery call. I'll dial in exactly what you're saying. Or make sure that you've got everything taken care of. And that's where, to kind of give a concept, that's where this giant bit deck. This thing is still, this thing generates appointments for him every day, every day. And this is the one that, this is the same bot that literally, that right here created, uh, created 35 appointments on autopilot using uh, posting in groups, making it something his own events. And just guiding him through this with this bot built out, man, I can't even that. Um, it just never to turn to another appointment tonight. So that's another 150 bucks just like that for him. Like, I mean, just dropping in. And, but he, all he has to do is 
post pieces of content in, and we tested them and broke them down. And I mean, people are getting relations, inspection, you know, different things they need to be done. But it's pretty cool because he doesn't have to sing or, and especially like late night, his wife or singing, he keeps singing live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this. I don't know what you're about to do. But, um, but being able to create that different type of movement when it comes to the bot, being able to connect, qualify, confirm, book, and, and a really cool, um, really cool opt in and just a tool to, um, to work with. And his story is on the page. And so for social proof, I can put this video right here with him. Oh, hang on, there he is. There's, there's Jacob. And I can use another dryer vent company down in Georgia that he's training that I'm working with him to do some different stuff in the back end up. So that's where when you are able to start with them and pour into people so that see the harvest is always going to be there. It just takes a couple of months to do it and finding what works, but then I don't need to do it organically. Then you have a whole bunch of money into it. And then figure out, like, oh crap, I just lost my man on five grand. That didn't work. And you're just like, this really sucks. I need to take out a little bit of all the time. And, and so it's like using organic to really beta test and split test. I mean, this is what it looks like on the phone right here. And I'll drop the uh, I'll drop the ball into the chat for you guys real quick if you want to go and fiddle around with it. Don't go in there and say stunt dumb stuff because I've got it. But no, uh, it, uh, it's really unique because that's when you can start to do the you know, live time. time. Yeah. So it'll pop up in Messenger and it takes over from the organic side of it. And what the kicker is, you can put that bot link that I just sent to you, like right here is the entire event meeting. We've got landing pages, you know, website embeds, even turning that content, those comments from those live streams into leads. Which is really, really cool. And that's where you want to build up. And that way, those those videos that if you already know, dial in the line, really, really, really line, that bot can start to take over, qualify, pop the email up into ConvertKit or other things too. It actually has a direct embed into um, Google Sheets, um, uh, and some other things too, especially with Shopify. You know, they kind of put on demand stuff. Put on demand. Oh. Yes. Bugs, hats, snapbacks, dude. Like all day. Canvas prints came in with the art side of it. Man, it would be killing. And so being able to come up with a design, a trademark, it, throw it on the canvas, sell it, 80% of its profit margin. Come on. So, anyway, going through a lot of different ways and being able to create. Um, because you guys need CEO hours into a lot of a lot of your like, a lot of your daily routine. But um, what's cool is that with Jacob, he like he added five CEO hours back into every week. Not seven to ten dollars an hour tasks, but two hundred to five hundred dollars an hour tasks back into it by uh, using organic. And so doing the events like what we're talking about. We'll, I was sitting like using like you and just start thinking back on the different things. You guys have homework time, man. <laughs> I want to see an event. I want you guys to invite me to your event by tomorrow. I want you to spend the night. If you don't, I'm like, ask you. <laughs> so here's a kicker. We had I had two folks show up tonight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, next day, now I've got different events going on. I, it, you guys are just as important as 10 people, as 100 people. It doesn't matter. And, and that's where when you show up for the even just for two folks and you show up for 10. Like, man, Brad, I, you've been, I don't know if you guys have been to South America, but I'll see you in the plaza. You're, echo, you're echoing pretty bad. I can't hard to I understand what you just asked me. Okay, is that better? You know, so I'm needed to both of you guys, so because um, I think it's a lot of feedback coming back and forth with that. That's what I was wondering too. But um, oh, it's earbuds. But um, but being able to, when I was in South America, I started with I started teaching English, and next thing I know, I started with like two people, and by the end of the class, I had like 18. We never got anything done because we always had to restart because they're like, you know, I don't understand what's going on, and so it's like. 
you want to have a limitation on it, you want to have 10, uh, 10 breakouts, you can have healthy dialogue with it and have a discussion with folks because if you can, do, if you can pour enough value into them and just equip them, you know, help them get to the next step. You know, with the events, this is your guys' next step. I want to, just, I want to see a blueprint from you guys. Just says, like, what's a topic? You know, like, what's a list of topics that you guys have? And then start to put an event out there and start to get, just generate the interest. People who already love you will invite their friends who think, who know that are a good fit. Think about people who are engaged, who are getting married. Um, what, I don't even know if prom is prom season. But um, like just different types of events, especially for like, especially coming out and being able to, like Brent, you know the things that are, that with the folks that are making that, that makes them tick. Those, those are just kind of things right off that list. And whichever one has the most questions to it, pick that one and just go with it. Don't ever think it, just go with it. And be able to uh, use a mechanism that can, you can get their information with, whether it be, uh, whether it be a squeeze page, whether it be an uh, Eventbrite, whether it's anything to grab their name and email, or if it's a chat bot, it doesn't matter. Like whatever that mechanism is, there's so many ways to skin that cat. It doesn't matter if you have them opt into like a constant contact like text thread and bump it over into uh, your CRM, you know, whatever. I, there's so many ways to skin that cat to get people opted in. It's just a matter of what's with your group. You know, do you prefer people to call you? I mean, do you prefer people to text you? Do you prefer people to opt into an email uh, sequence? It's totally up to you. But it's about what you have at your disposal right now and so this way you can start to actually uh, start to chart it out and generate the interest and generate the buzz because if people, there's nothing, if you don't have anything out there, you can't, there's nothing you can improve on. And I mean, this strategy, this is before events and retargeting and all that, but with Radway, I mean, that's, that's where we went to six figures, multiple six figures in nine months because people were finally able to wrap their head around what the heck we were doing. And they're like, that's why you're going to do it for me. I'm not going to do it. And and that's why it works so well. And you know, I have to stop. all right, cool. All right, cool. So, um, but so yeah, that's, that's the thing. I want you guys to do some homework tonight, man, and just think about some different main subjects that you guys have. You read off the top of your head, and just see what 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 has the most questions to it. And with those folks, man, just start to be able to dial into it and start to split test. I guarantee you, after the third one, you're going to start to realize you're like. Okay, you know, people giving you feedback, it was good, if it was bad, if it was boring, if it was awesome, whatever the case is, you'll know that's where you start to get invested. And no shame, you're not wasting any money. You know, if anything else, I mean. Uh, I think with myself, I'm, I'm still writing copy for the pages. So that's, um, I don't have the video membership to offer yet. I do have a, I do have a list with a sequence, but it's not necessarily sales oriented yet. It's more information, content. And um, so I'm, I'm really, I'm building out a, a completely new website. And the only thing that I've taken from the old one is the blog. And uh, so with all of that, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I, I, I realize I can get on Facebook and I can start doing things to start stirring interest and whatnot, but I don't have all the things in place yet. And I'm not really waiting until everything's perfect, but I just want something out there first, <laughs> you know, to be able to offer them besides the email sequence, because I'm going to take the content of the email sequence and put them on my blog. Do a Facebook group, do a Facebook group. Have a Facebook group that's an incubating community so that way people can be safe. You get their email and you ask a couple of locating questions on the gun that uh, gatekeeping part of it. And I mean, the Christian men and business group that you're part of, remember how you got invited to that? You had a couple of questions you had to go through. This is because we set that up so that way on the front side of it, it's very natural. And that's something that you don't need to have a massive amount of tools to it to be able to use that to where you can get their information and still be natural because. Why build out a whole massive sequence if people aren't interested? You know, and so use a group to be able to incubate ideas. And that's where, like, right now, the, uh, the organic automation community that I'm putting together right now, I'm going to send you guys some invites. So that way we can start sharing some ideas and doing different things and how to capitalize on organic stuff, but then build that organic foundation and then use paid advertising to help nudge it along. You know, it's much easier to roll down a big old boulder down a hill than push it up a hill. You know, yeah. and, um, and so that's where build up that massive, 
massive foundation, and then that way you can start to you know, just start to drop things down. And a pebble going going drop being dropped at thirty thousand feet um, has a lot more impact than a, a boulder being dropped at five feet, and it hurts a little bit more. <laughs> so that's where you'll be able to dial it in and just kind of and just and just monitor on the backside of it and see like okay, this is where people are commenting on the most. These are the questions that they're asking. These are both in Messenger and all this stuff. I mean, these are how. I mean, heck, that's how me and Derek got introduced was by a buddy, a mutual friend, Shannon. It's like, you got to meet this guy. Facebook chat, done. Intro. Like, and that's like, that's really how we got connected. And, and being able to, you know, being able to reach back out to the people that already know you and use that event to be able to build that rapport. Why, why go try and travel 80 miles when you can just travel eight miles or eight feet and go yeah. to people who already know you? And, you know, and that's where a lot of folks are like, well, they already know me. Yeah. Like it's seven times easier to keep and nurture and, and maintain and build referrals with your clients. And this, you know, this is back in the real estate days, bro, like fortunes and follow, right? And so being able to capitalize on that and being able to, um, the folks that already know you will, 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 they will champion you to other people and avidly look for you. And that's too where prayer comes in too, man. You just believe in God, man. And just those, through those relationships. Okay. I guess he's empowering off. But um, <laughs> but being able to build that uh, build that rapport and make sure that you that they know what you're doing, mm -hmm. yeah, they know that what you're being able to bring to the marketplace with where you're at right now, but also to equip the the men of God that God's raising up right now, or just the women, men and women of God that are going into whether marketplace ministry or going into ministry itself, and so those are the people that God's going to send you. But you have to remember, just like with the heart of David, what are those things that's going to unlock their heart? And that's where you want to be able to dial into that and speak straight to their heart. Mm -hmm. no, no hidden agenda and be real with them and say, look, this is what, and just answer their questions ahead of time. And then that's what will hook them. Right. Because when you can do a live stream and you just ask questions, like you just kind of go with the flow a little bit too until you hit that groove. I mean, yeah. you know, that's well, that's where forums work for me because, because yeah. I can, um, I don't have to study. You on got plenty of data too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't have to study on, on my life's message. I mean, I was drugged through the mud to learn it. <laughs> or dead. Drugged or dragged. I was going to say, one, you're either, in, uh, you're either conscious or unconscious. Yeah. So, well, <laughs> <laughs> I had to make conscious decisions through it, but the, um, but the whole process is basically, you know, my, my, uh, my life became my message, my lifestyle. And so how to get where I'm at when you start from the beginning and, you know, with, with the experience that I have over the last, gosh, let's see. I answered the call of ministry when I was 25. So 32 years ago. Oh, okay. So, you know, when you start, when you start looking at that kind of experience and all the things you're going to go through, there's a lot of, a lot of people that start out and they, they have the hunger and the passion and the zeal, but they don't have any wisdom as to, you know, so. Preach. Need us, need us old guys. Yeah. What did you need? They need counsel. They need accountability. Now, I would, right. I would it like that. So that way they need, they know that, you know, remember you're speaking to crocodile brains when it comes to the advertising side of it, right. make it to where it couldn't be understood and with like hooked on phonic style and like for real. And like, that's where I have this thing I can think of. Like, how can I say this in the dumbest way possible? with no creativity and the most simplest thing ever. And, and that's where it's like, it's a Every bit of that dropped out. <laughs> uh, hang on, I think there's like massive, is it raining outside out of nowhere? I don't know. I thought, all I heard was massive gust of wind and it goes, like in wild, <laughs> wild west, the hay bale goes across. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but you're able to really uh, dial into it and just remember, keep it simple. Yeah, there's oh, absolutely. 
Yeah. And so that's the accountability side of it. And then you're able to just tap into those things that cause people to tailspin. Like, think about on the opposite side of it, what are the issues that people are facing right now? And let's look at the result of it. And like, if you're, if you're, um, if you're a pastor or minister right now and you're struggling in your marriage, I completely understand. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying off the cut. And that's where you can say, look, I understand what it's like to go through that and to help bring yourself back on your feet. I'm on the other side of victory, and and that's where it's like that's where you're like, <clears throat> what? <clears throat> uh, dang! Um, and you're there. Then you're able to say, forget about any kind of membership, any kind of price on anything. So that way you can get connected with me. And when there's a huge form that we have of a community as are both like-minded men and women just like you that can actually you can connect with relate with and be safe with and they're like holy crap you know and it just puts a whole new spin to it and to where you can start to look at well, what are the what were the symptoms that people are dealing with to where you can speak about and just cut that thing down and that's where you want to learn how that's I think it these new earbuds are they're, they're telling me the power is on so I don't know if, is, is it working yeah it's working now the better it's a bit better we'll I wait put them, I put them in the carry case and they're supposed to like whenever you put them in here or whenever you put them in here they're supposed to shut off so uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. This so my speaker's not working for some reason. I think I'm just getting bad weather over here in South Huntsville. So, but be respectful of, of your guys' time, uh, especially everyone that's, that's here. Man. Um, so, Derek, do you have any questions after going through all that, man? I know, Brad, we were diving in pretty deep on some of your stuff, man. I hope that helps. No, I, I think I got a lot of uh, homework uh, to do. <laughs> so I'm just going to get in and check it out, man, and, and, and kind of see what I can come up with. I can, man. I want to see some fashion, like mini fashion shows going on in there, dude. Um, <laughs> well, I, I'll send you a video um, that I did today for the tweet. There's a tweet ride going on in Huntsville on Saturday. Yeah. So they do like a little small styling video. It's pretty crappy. It's not that great, but it's still, you know, some content. I'll, I'll send it to you. They, they enjoyed it, though. So um, hey. I'm going to get off here. Well, it's, but it's I did it right. like a couple of hours, so. Cool. Yeah, dude. It, keeping it simple, man, is what it's all about. That way people okay. can just get straight to it and take the next step. That's it. And then you make it, then you sexy it up later on. Right, you know, right, right. You, right, right. you can't sexy up a skeleton. You know, it's going to have meat, bones, and skin on it, too. <laughs> right. well awesome well i'll go ahead and uh, i'll make sure that the google um, i'll have a recording for you guys it'll be available in google drive and so that way you guys can access that i'm just going to put it on youtube on listed so that way you guys only have access to it and so that way we'll be able to uh, you guys can go back and refer to it uh, rewatch it whatever you need to and it may be on where uh, depending on how many times you guys rewatch it maybe a hundred bucks after <laughs> there's actually there's actually a software that i have that actually gamifies the watch time so on youtube videos so you'll be um i can have it to where you guys will register for the giveaway on it and a hundred bucks to the person who will actually study this video the most <laughs> i hear you homie don't play <laughs> 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 Breath like game on. <laughs> all right, all right, redneck CEO. <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you guys have an awesome night and.